Hello, I am Seamus Dunahu of Eve University, and this is episode 38 of How to Survive Eve Online. In this episode, we are going to take on the next step of the advanced military chain, so right-click the agent, start conversation. And she wants us to find a fleeing pirate and use a civilian warp disruptor on him. Uh, you may kill any escort vessels that you see, but it's not necessary. So let's accept the mission. And the game will talk to you about warp disruptors and warp scramblers. Let me get that out of the way. Uh, and let's look for... Oh, you know what? Let me just use search field. Warp. Here we go. Civilian warp disruptor. Throw that on. Let's click the sex to clear the search field. Close this. And let's undock. Now normally, you can use your warp drive whenever you want as long as you meet the conditions to be aligned for warp. Moving towards the destination within 5 degrees and going at least 75% of maximum speed. However, if a warp disruptor or a warp scrambler is being used against you that shuts down your warp drive, you cannot warp out. And if it's a fight you're losing, your ship is going to be destroyed. Uh, undivided attention, encounter dead space, warp to location. Ooh. And I forgot to drop off the course scanner probes back at station. I'll do that when I dock up. Alright, traveling fast and light. I've put the civilian warp disruptor on the second mid-power slot. Warp disruptors and warp scramblers are mid-power modules. Typically, anyway. There is the fleeing pirate. Approach. Target lock him. Turn on your warp disruptor. It's waiting for the target lock. Done. Left click the station. Dock. And we are finished. And his buddies despawn. and you can just warp out. That's pretty straightforward. Warp in, lock the target, warp disrupt him, scare him a bit, warp out. Anyway, warp disruptors work out to about 20 Docking kilometers. Uh, warp request. scramblers Accepted. only work to about 7.5 kilometers, uh, but they are more effective in dealing with targets that might have warp core stabilizers fit. Additionally, warp scramblers will also shut down a micro warp drive. Warp disruptors can't do that. So you gotta be in closer, but it'll shut down the micro warp as well. Afterburners don't care. Right click the agent, start conversation complete the mission. Uh, that felt pretty quick. You may want to read this section more about interdiction. I will probably do uh, more tutorial, standalone tutorial videos on this subject, but for now you may want to read this section before you actually request the next mission. But let's go ahead and request the next mission. Uh, and we need to use a civilian remote armor repair system. And let's accept that mission. And the game will talk to you about remote repair modules. You've used, you've already used modules that repair your own ship. You can use modules that repair somebody else's ship. So let's get rid of the civilian warp disruptor. We don't need that. Uh, get rid of the core scanner probes. Let me unload the charges, clear the weapon group. I need to remove a weapon. Let's throw on the civilian... Insufficient power. You know what? I don't need the light electron blaster. I'm gonna offline that. Let's online the civilian remote armor repair system. Close the fitting window. Close this. Undock. Right-click empty space, a friend in need, encounter dead space, warp to location. 
Warp drive active. Now, something I haven't really talked about, I offlined this blaster. It's offline, so it's not taking up CPU or power grid, but that also means I can't activate it, so I can't shoot anyone with it. Right? And you'll see it dimmed out here to indicate that it is offline. If you use the thermodynamics skill to overheat your modules and get more performance out of them, and you burn them out completely, they'll also go offline, and you'll have to dock up in station to repair them. Let's target lock the damaged vessel, and you want to use the civilian remote armor repair system. You need to be within 4,000 meters. If you have a functional weapon on board, this is very important. You must not shoot the target. Basic systems are operational once again. We have functional warp drives. Thank you, pilot. I owe you one. I'm getting out of here. Um, that f that bit about functional warp drives is flavor text. Damage, warp or for players, active. damage does not shut down your warp drive. You could have 10 points of structure remaining, and if you're not being warp scrambled or warp disrupted or not warp bubbled, you can still get out. Damage alone will not prevent a player ship from going to warp, unless the player ship has been completely destroyed. It is possible to throw enough damage at somebody that they explode right off the bat before they can even react. That's called killing someone in the alpha strike, or alphaing someone. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. All right. Right-click the agent. Start conversation. You may want to read this stuff about logistics. Uh, but in the meantime, once you finish reading that, go ahead and complete the mission. You'll be given a textbook on a skill book on remote armor repair systems. See if you can train that now to level one. And in the next episode, we will take on the next step of the advanced military chain. In the meantime, thank you for watching.